Hello and thank you for accepting our invitation to happiness. Ryuho Okawa is a global visionary, renowned spiritual leader, and international best-selling author. With his deep spiritual insight, wisdom, and compassion, Okawa is committed to guide people to true happiness and create a better world. To accomplish this, he founded Happy Science Group in Japan in 1986, which is now a global movement in over 100 countries. His vision and message to the world goes beyond the differences of race and language. Together, throughout this program, we will be exploring ways to attain true happiness from a spiritual perspective and how you can create a better world starting from within. Today's topic is about God's justice. At times like these, in times of international turmoil, we sometimes wonder whether or not God is guiding us to true justice. In a world that seems unjust and unfair, how do we know who decides the ultimate justice for humankind? Before we go further, let's ask the people in New York who they think decides the ultimate justice. The Supreme Court? Uh, I know you're not. I'm joking. Um, I mean, in my, in my world, it's all, it's all judges uh, who decide those things and, and who determine where my cases go, but, or, and, and juries, of course, but juries and judges. Um, but I suspect you're asking a more metaphysical question. Um, for me, it would be human beings who wear the black robes and who sit in the jury box. I do think there's a higher power. And personally, I, I think that it's given us a good framework for a civilization. Um, I've been in places where, uh, I've been in the military and I've been in places where there is no rule of law and there is no peace. And it's, um, you know, we take it for granted here uh, in, in more developed countries where that framework has been established. So I do think, do think when we honor that, the higher power honors us by giving us a peace, more peaceful society. Definitely here, um, human beings, but I feel like there is a higher power, more than what we're able to comprehend. It may be, I feel like that whole depiction of God may not be as accurate, but I feel like there is something higher up than this more than us. Because there's definitely things that happen that has no explanation. If there's a God, I'd certainly believe in God, but I do believe in, if not specific idea of God, the ultimate prevailing force of love in the, in the universe is the prevailing thing that ties us. So I think love, love is the prevailing force of justice. Today's lecture, entitled The Way to the Truth, which Okawa gave publicly in December 2016, is based on a macro perspective of human happiness, which is the most vital missions of happy science in establishing God's justice in this world. With this in mind, let us listen to this lecture with a macro perspective. In last year's El Cantare celebration, I said that this year, 2016, would be the year of revolution. The one with the biggest impact was probably the victory of Mr. Donald Trump in the U.S. presidential election. People may say different things about this, but we have come to an age when we must call it the Trump Revolution. We published a book on the spiritual interview with the guardian spirit of Donald Trump in January of this year. In that book, we revealed that Donald Trump was the first president of the United States, George Washington, in a past life. The conclusion we drew from this was that Donald Trump would be elected as the president in November. This was our prediction. If George Washington were to appear in the U.S. today, it would only be to revolutionize the U.S. So if Mr. Trump didn't win, then the result of the plan expected by heaven would have gone back to square one. In Japanese politics, the economic reform through Abenomics began smoothly, but the economy gradually lost its pace. There was only one point to this. 
We repeatedly suggested that in order to make economics succeed, the consumption tax must not be raised. But they did. This led to the fall of economics and a loss of Japanese economic growth. The power of wisdom is very important. If your foresight is wrong, it can even cause a country to perish. We must know this harsh reality. From now on, we must ascertain the direction we should head in and make our decision accordingly. We must choose what we need and abandon what we must. This is important. This establishment of justice is what I have been speaking to you about this year. Japan is now missing principles in its politics. Politics without philosophy is disgraceful. Political messages that aren't worth those of a world leader are truly embarrassing. If so, Japan must organize its own thoughts and work to accomplish what it must. I'm deeply sorry about this and plan to work with indomitable resolve for the rest of my life to teach the righteous political, economic, religious, cultural, future industrial and educational policies that are in accordance with the teachings of God throughout Japan and the world. First, I will protect the peace of Asia. If things go on as they are now, a huge military clash will occur in Asia within the next five years. To put it clearly, this will come with Mr. Trump's rise to presidency. From the view of the left-wing mass media, it may seem as though the times have changed for the worse. However, seen from the perspective of a longer time span, this will be creative destruction too. Japan must work with the U.S. to rebuild national power and clearly show where the central pillar of the world exists. We must reconfirm that democracy comes from God and that democratic prosperity comes from God's children coming together. When I began the activities of happy science, the population of the world was only about 5 billion. Now it has exceeded 7 billion. The population of the world is increasing faster than our teachings are spreading. The most positive thing sought in an age like this is to invent a constructive way to have the vast number of people in the world live without starving and to have them live happily. Basically, I am indicating this direction. However, looking at the past, something else happens in times like this. One is war. Another is catastrophe or a natural disaster. These are prepared as our options. We are always walking between such options. In this era of international turmoil, 
We need strong leadership to guide the nation and the world in the direction of ultimate peace and prosperity. Although the emergence of President Trump can be seen as polarizing, as Okawa mentioned, it can also be called a Trump revolution and may be one step towards a new future. True democracy comes from God, and only by moving forward together as children of God can we achieve true democratic prosperity. Let's continue to listen to Okawa's lecture. China has the ambition to become a superpower by military hegemony and has challenged the U.S. During President Obama's time, U.S. power declined. However, Mr. Trump's time won't be the same. He will stop China's hegemony. This is the true meaning of the Trump Revolution. We must not miss this. This will gradually become apparent from next year. His true intentions will gradually be known. China has a missile that no other country in the world has. This missile has a range of about 1,000 miles and can destroy a U.S. aircraft carrier by piercing through its deck from above. Only China has this. The U.S. must come up with a countermeasure against this missile. The method to do this will be Star Wars. Next will come the age of space wars. It will be a race to destroy artificial satellites and space stations. It will start from a battle to disrupt computers and other related technologies. Japan will be left out from all of this. This is the truth behind the next war, which is already counting down. In short, a war could begin and end by a satellite or a space station suddenly being destroyed in space without having to cross fire on Earth. But we must be able to see how the future should unfold. Of course, I do not hate China. It's the country that produced the great Confucius. It's also the country of Taoism, in a country that long enjoyed prosperity through Buddhism. I have the strong desire to change China into a country of the truth. I'm not only talking about political democracy. I want to make China into a nation that can maintain order by giving people the freedom of religion, the freedom of speech, and the freedom of expression that are based on Buddha's truth or God's truth. In Russia, the Russian Orthodox Church is regaining power. I want to promote their religious reform even further by helping them from Japan. In addition, India's religion is left behind the times, one of them being Hinduism. Out of the Indian population of 1.3 billion, nearly 1 billion people are Hindu. It's a polytheistic religion, and that is fine. But the reason India is behind the times lies in the lack of rational thinking in their polytheistic religion, not the tolerance in it. I will fire a new thought that unifies rational thinking and polytheism into the Indian continent. This is the job of happy science. Moreover, I want to make the Asian seas the seas of peace as soon as possible, without going into a large, extended war. I also want to change African countries into wealthy countries. The world's population grew from 5 billion to 7 billion since the time Happy Science started. It will eventually approach 10 billion. If the liberal idea that flows from the Obama administration to Miss Clinton had continued to prevail, 
than the idea that everyone will be happy by taking money from the rich and distributing to the poor as social welfare would still be the norm. This idea would be somewhat rational if the world's population remained the same. However, if it's increasing, then taking money from the rich and distributing it to the poor will not work forever. That's why, while we need to change how the politics, economy, and trade work on the national level, we also need to nurture a lot of people who can succeed and prosper by changing their ways of thinking and their minds on the individual level all over the world. Right now, the EU, a union of European countries, is a union of the weak. Its central concept is social welfare. There are only a few wealthy countries. Countries wishing to join the EU are poor. From there, many refugees are coming in. What they need to do is to progress and prosper through self-help. And this idea of self-help must turn into altruism, not just egoism. People who produce results through self-help are apt to become egoists. To this, I have been saying, to love is to give in the laws of the sun from the very beginning of happy science. Those who think to love is to take will never be able to understand those words. But those who find the words to love is to give to be true should be able to understand the meaning. People who improve, train, and develop themselves, who become successful, wealthy, and even make their country wealthy, can make the world wealthy too. We must take the Trump revolution as a springboard and spread what we've been teaching so far. The individual's way to self-transformation and enlightenment by changing his mind is also the way to make the world the land of love, the land of happiness and utopia on earth. We must choose this way. We are already active in more than 100 countries around the world. With that in mind, I want to ask the people in Japan and all over the world, please give us wings. We are a group insisting that we have the duty to make the world happy, not the right. We are a group with the obligation to make the world happy. So people all over Japan and all over the world, please give happy science the wings to fly one level higher. Next year, is the year of the laws of mission. Let's spread the truth, gain a lot of supporters, and change the world into a place filled with love and happiness. Let's give our best. Thank you very much. The important point here is that the philosophy of social welfare has its limits, 
when dealing with an increase in population like we are facing now. The ultimate solution to this issue is the spirit of self-help. Self-help combined with altruism is the direction that Happy Science advocates. Through this mindset, not only can we make ourselves prosper, but also the country and the world. Let us now hear Okawa's message to America, which was given on October 2nd, 2016 in New York. Hello, how you doing? Hey, okay. I came back. Thank you for coming today. Mm, to tell the truth, mm, uh, New, York, New York is uh, a little different, I think so. Uh, it's very, in some meaning, silent. Uh, in some meaning, uh, mm, no. Uh, Vitality uh, and in some meaning, uh, no philosophy. Uh, I I found that uh, American problem. One of the American problem is uh, you have the tendency uh, of uh, hating or uh, have the envy uh, for wealthy people. But from the uh, standpoint of the world, if America, the United States of America, uh, hesitate to uh, uh, let the people uh, be wealthy, uh, it is the end of the America. Uh, we think so. You have uh, the mission. Uh, to make a uh, new dream uh, for the world. But uh, this is just uh, missing, I felt, in New York. So now I insist that you uh, transform into the another country. Uh, you have new philosophy problem uh, because uh, you earn a lot, <laughs> of course, and you became rich, of course. But after that, pragmatism only is a, a very miserable for humankind because we are made from God. God's desire is more greater than pragmatism. In terms of uh, the uh, earthly meaning, you must decide your freedom, your justice, and your happiness. Don't think about your country only. You are the leader of the world. Don't disregard this point. Please, beyond America, see uh, from the standpoint of the earth. Ah, three, happiness. Uh, it's very important. Uh, you need a new philosophy for that. It's a definition of God. It's a real meaning of God. Believing God is good, but what's the meaning of God's will? It's a starting point of new philosophy. Uh, this is uh, your mission. And this is what I want to say today. Be great, greater. Uh, with uh, great power comes <laughs> a great uh, responsibility. Uh, you American people have great responsibility for the world. Please keep on your mind and this uh, truth. Uh, and that is the conclusion of the lecture. 
Like individuals, countries have God-given missions too. And so America must be America. America must represent as the great nation blessed by God that honors freedom and justice in order to bring happiness to all people. The ultimate justice comes from God, and we must never cease to quest for the way to the truth, the way to God. At Happy Science, you can listen to many of Okawa's other lectures related to today's topic. The books covered in today's lecture are available at major bookstores, including Barnes & Noble, Amazon.com, and at Happy Science. For more information, please contact a Happy Science location near you. If you'd like to learn more, 